Hey y'all, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. Today we're going to do another segment of the cleaning table. And today we're going to be cleaning a smaller species of shark, the Atlantic Sharp Nose. In my opinion, it's one of the best tasting sharks there is, next to black tip. Well guys, I'll see you at the cleaning table in just a second. Alright guys, before I get to cleaning this shark, I gotta sharpen my knife. And I'm going to tell you right now, this right here is the best knife sharpener there is. What you do is you just take your window, get about halfway down. Right here, just like this, man. I'm telling you right now. Doing this right here will get your knife extremely sharp. When you're cleaning the sharks, exactly what you need. Whoo, boy. That is sharp. All right, guys. I got my, my small Atlantic sharp nose here. This is almost full grown. Not quite full grown, but just a little, they get just a little bit bigger. These little small coastal sharks. You're allowed two per boat, one per person, whichever is less. So if you're just you in the boat by yourself, you only allow one. But if you got three, four, five people, you're still only allowed two per boat. So I'm gonna show you how real quick how to clean this fish. I'm just sharpen my knife. Went a little bit too far there. All right. Make that incision there. Make this incision right here. Off. Get all this mud blood out. Alrighty. These are really easy to clean. If your knife's sharp. You're here just like this, you just go straight down. A lot easier to clean than a big shark. I'm telling you right now, if you have never eaten Atlantic Sharp Nose, you do not know what you're missing. This is a delicious fish. Yes, sharks are very bloody. I apologize about that. Okay, we'll rinse this off real quick. And we'll skin it and make it into steaks. All right, guys, I got my two shark fillets here. I'll go ahead and skin these. And what I like to do is just not run my knife totally along the skin. So that way I get off a lot of that red meat. I leave the red meat on the skin. So I kind of stay off just, just off the skin. See, I left all that red bloodline on that skin, and I got a pretty much a very clean fillet. And the belly, just come through here and just, just like that. And just cut it off right there. Discard that. I got one steak, two steaks, and the tailpiece. Excellent on the grill. Excellent. I'll rinse these off. I mean, look at that, guys. That is a really good, clean piece of meat. It's excellent. Now I do my uh, 
Atlantic sharp nose a couple different ways. I love them grilled. I also love to make them uh, buffalo style. And I'll do a video of that one of these days. And I also do like them fried, deep fried, very good. Again, left all the bloodline right on that skin. Come through here and just take this belly off. Nice clean lift a little bit on there right there, but that ain't gonna hurt nothing. So we got one steak, two steaks, and a tail piece. Awesome. Beautiful piece of meat, y'all. Some people say you need to soak it in milk and all this other stuff. This just isn't true. Just get the bloodline off and you can freeze them, whatever you like to do with them and they taste awesome. So here's the finished product. I'm sitting in this water for a little bit like I do all my fish. And then I'll put them in the freezer or I may just eat it tomorrow. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Cleaning that small uh, sharp nose. They actually get a little bit bigger, not much bigger, but a little bit bigger, but that was a decent size sharp nose. And they're an excellent eating fish. So if you haven't tried one, y'all really need to give it a try because it really is good. All right, guys, well, I appreciate you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I appreciate each and every one of you all for having subscribed to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit that little subscribe button and that little bell for notifications. And always feel free to shoot me a comment. Well, guys, I get to see you again here soon on the water. Tie lines, y'all.